In this video series, you're invited to join me as I journey across Japan on my motorcycle. Man, this is not bad, is it? To visit artists of all kinds who excel at their crafts. My goal in making these videos is to shine some light on what really makes each craft special and unique, and hear a bit of wisdom from the masters themselves. If I can, I get involved with a little bit of the process myself. My name is Ben. This is Japan Craft Masters. The town of Shigaraki is famous for a generations old form of pottery making, known as Shigarakiyaki. Shigarakiyaki is most famous for the tanuki, or raccoon dog. You can see these pottery animals outside of shops and homes all over Japan. Along with many other kinds of animals and characters, you can also find practical goods like teapots, cups, bowls, and more. Some of these works are really extravagant, and some are huge, although, as some of the shop owners tell me, they are not made so much anymore. All right, we're gonna go on a little journey to Takashima to visit one of the professional craftspeople who make these goods. <laughs> Hello. My name is Kiyomi Yamaguchi. I'm making pottery. This is my friend Takeshi. He's helping me out today, joining on the journey. He just got a new bike. This is new, new Ninja, so we're excited to go on this little journey together. So let's hit the road. Let's do it. Recently, I take my motorcycle everywhere. The freedom, the wind, smells, it really lets me be fully immersed in the journey from point A to point B. So I'm always happy for any excuse to take a nice long bike ride. The trip was theoretically supposed to take about one hour, but with traffic and hydration stops, it ended up being more like four hours. Oh yeah, you want to go like splash your face with water? It's pretty beautiful, but it's so hot. I'm going to get going. Ah, last leg of the journey. We finally arrived at Kiyomi-san's home studio. Here we were joined by Shoko. You'll see more of her in other videos. Kiyomi-san was in the middle of her daily work. She let us watch. ピシッと同じものを作らなあかんのかな。そう、同じもの作れて、同じもの作れてなんだろうな。何も思わずにムーと思いながらやってるんじゃないですか。そう。別に何もすごいと思わへんでしょう。Next, it was our turn. First, Shogo had to go. 
キューってこうしてキューってここ真ん中に真ん中に真ん中にそうそうそうそううわはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはい He had some experience in his university days. Finally, it was my turn to try. You can do it. We came back a few days later to finish the process. So you got to make the,、uh, the base of it now, right? Is that what you're going to do? So did you break the top? I broke the top. Oh no! <laughs> She just repaired it just like、yeah. that. So what is this? <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Good. 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 Kiyomi-san then made short work of giving Shoko's little animal even more personality. Yep. <laughs> 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 It's very heavy right now, so we're gonna make it a lot lighter by. And she'll show me how to scrape around the sides and, and to, to make it into its final form. Oh, 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 集中して。これはスリップウェアと言います。その白いやつは、うん、白くでまた土ですか？うん、土土土の泥。白い土泥。うん、泥。ベンちゃんのは外にはかけないで、たけし君のは外にもかけます。外にかける場合はここに行ってこうやって。わお。これやれば内側までかかります。わお。
。わ、綺麗。After this process, she bakes these items in one of her kilns, just outside of her studio room. Hi. Oh, hi. Oh. これに入れたんや。うん。これね。It's done. It's done. In the end, Takeshi's cup, my cup, and Shoko's little animal, due almost entirely to Kiyomi-san's skills, turned out amazing. Kiyomi-san has been making pottery for almost 50 years. This is for the、uh, Ryoko Museum. She started when she was 21 or 22 after leaving her prior job. She first worked as a disciple or deshi under a pottery master in Shigaraki, just before there was a big pottery boom in Japan and it became popular. She shared with me some wisdom about her experience there. So, <laughs> there. 25歳6歳ぐらいまで毎日そこで仕事して毎日ですか毎日、はい、だから作る仕事よりもあの掃除したり土塗ったりとか<笑>もうそれやったから仕事できるようになったかなと思う、うん、それがなかったら多分やめてるかな<笑>そうなんですか、うん、逆に難しいことに慣れて嫌なことにも慣れてしまうでしょうでまあ、こんなもんかなと思うそう、うん、自分が何を作りたいかっていうことをねまず考えてそれをちゃんと教えてくれる人やったらそんな立派な人じゃなくてもそうやな、ね、自分の知らんことをちゃんと知ってくれてる人そういう人も一応師匠にもなると思うやっぱりちゃんと教えてもらえば基礎ができてあと伸びやすい。なんかね、土,土でも私も土練っても置いてあったでしょ、うん、その土はもうベンちゃんたちはもうそのまま使ったでもじゃあこのはいこんな硬い土でお茶碗作ってって言われたらあの無理ですねだから初めにその一番初めに触った土の感覚がもう覚えてるでしょ、うん、この柔らかい土あの土で作ればこれが作れるっていうのが、うんうんうんでもあの誰か作ってる人に教えてもらわへんかったらあの土はそうです、ね、何回も失敗しながら苦労してからまあ気づくだと思うんですけど遅いっていう話ですね。まあ、考えれば分かんやけどもでも一番使いやすい硬さってどんなもあのこういうふうに作る時にはこの,つこの硬さが一番作りやすいっていうのはちょっとしたことやから。まあ、自分で考えて何回も何回もやり直すのもさ身にもつくとは思うけども人にちょっと教えてもらえばああそんな簡単なことなんていうのもあるから。As my time in Kiyomi's studio came to a close, I thought about the ease with which her work seemed to be an extension of her spirit almost, like each one had its own little soul. Decide what you want to make, find someone better than you willing to teach or give you tips, and then learn as much as possible. Solid, simple, timeless advice. Kiyomi san, I hope to visit again sometime soon. Until then, it has been a pleasure and an honor. Domo, arigato gozaimashita. And thank you for watching Japan Craft Masters. Stay tuned for the next one.